Hi friends, welcome to my channel for Medicos. If you or anybody in your family is a diabetic patient, then information in this video will be helpful to you. This video will contains information on new group of oral medications SGLT2 inhibitors used for treating type 2 diabetes. Before starting, if you learn something or if you find information provided in this video as helpful, please motivate us by subscribing, liking and sharing this video. So let's start, Sodium Glucose Co-Transporter 2, SGLT2, inhibitors, which are also known as glyphosins are a new group of oral medications used for treating type 2 diabetes. The drugs work by helping the kidneys to lower blood glucose levels. SGLT2 inhibitors have been approved for use as a treatment for diabetes since 2013. They are taken once a day with or without food. Drugs in this class are, the following drugs belong to the SGLT2 inhibitors which are available in different trade names. 1. Dopaglifosin, 2. Canagliflozin and 3. Impagliflozin. How do SGLT2 inhibitors work? The kidneys work by filtering glucose out of the blood and then reabsorbing glucose back into the blood. The proteins that reabsorb glucose are called sodium glucose transport proteins. SGLT2 inhibitors block these proteins which means less glucose gets reabsorbed back into the blood and gets passed out of the body via the urine. Hence, SGLT2 inhibitors work by preventing the kidneys from reabsorbing glucose back into the blood. This allows the kidneys to lower blood glucose levels and the excess glucose in the blood is removed from the body via urine. Who are SGLT2 inhibitors suitable for? SGLT2 inhibitors may be suitable for people with type 2 diabetes that have high blood glucose levels despite being on a medication regimen such as metformin and insulin. SGLT2 inhibitors are not recommended for prescribing to people with kidney disease as kidney disease prevents the drug from working sufficiently well. What are the benefits of SGLT2 inhibitors? SGLT2 inhibitors help to remove glucose from the blood and therefore help to lower blood glucose levels and thereby decreases risk of complications of diabetes. By removing glucose from the body, SGLT2 inhibitors can also have benefits for weight loss. Side effects of SGLT2 inhibitors, as the drugs cause more glucose to be excreted in the urine, there is a higher chance of getting genital and urinary tract infections. These side effects are more common in women than in men. Taking SGLT2 inhibitors with insulin, sulfonylureas, or glinides may increase the risk of hypoglycemia. SGLT2 inhibitors can, in rare cases lead to a dangerous condition called diabetic ketoacidosis. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe.